The mechanics say they have had discussions with traditional owners of the land about the intents of the Ayawasu East Municipal Assembly to put up the Agenda 111 project. There were no timelines given as to when they will be asked to move out of the land for the project to start. They claim to their surprise this dawn they saw armed policemen with an excavator demolishing their property without notice. Now, the government, he cannot do anything to us because if the government will do something for us, here he can build a factory here. He can bring students here to learn work. Even if it's a shop, we have school there. Children finish their school here. They come here and do practicals, even from ATTC. They come here to do more practicals here. They bring people from NGO to come and learn work here. We don't take even one city from them because we want them to benefit what we are working from here. The La General Hospital, which was demolished by the government to make way for the planned rehabilitation to improve health care delivery, has been abandoned for over three years. The mechanics believe the demolition will not serve any purpose. Representative of Ni Odoi Kwao family in Usu, owners of the land, Robert Barnes Kumsing, alleged government has failed to negotiate with the family. You don't take land before you negotiate. You don't go into a negotiation week. And you are taking a family's land. You are taking people's livelihoods from their hands. And you want to take it by force without showing any proof. Now, these people here want to go. If they will go, they will go because it's a hospital. Their kids will come here. They, are, they, are, they themselves will get sick and come here. But their question is that what proof? Do they have that if they leave, they will know that they are going somewhere else or they will have food to eat. That is our problem. The mechanics are counting their losses whilst others packed their debris. The Awasu West Municipal Assembly is yet to respond to the issue.